Monday, January 9th, members of the community gathered for the third Zone In Youth Forum at the Western Community Center. The Minister of Youth Culture and Sport, Owen Darrell, the Director of the Department of Youth, Kimberly Bean, and Melissa Lobby led a walkthrough explanation and Q&A of the eight policies inside the National Youth Policy. You may recall the National Youth Policy, which was implemented in February of 2022 under the former Minister of Youth, Culture and Sport, Dr. Ernest Peets. The policy was created to empower the youth of Bermuda as well as protect and support them as they grow and engage on the island. The forum, now led by the current Minister of Youth, Culture and Sport, Owen Darrell, was gathered to help direct how the ministry will put the policies in place as they move toward the second year of the implementation of the National Youth Policy. I asked some students in attendance how they felt about the forum. I think it was very informative, as was the last two. The first one was more with the youth, um, about my age and a bit younger. And then the second one was more like 20s and stuff like that. And then now it's like parents and children. Um, yeah, so it's different demographics, but it was very interesting. Uh, yes, it went well. I liked to... Um they were really interested in our comments and uh, us listening to what they were saying. So I, I liked it overall. Did you learn anything new tonight that you didn't know before? Um, not really. I mean, I met new people, but not necessarily learn any new information. Then what do you think about Owen Darrow as the newly appointed minister? So I think he's doing great. This is very innovative. Um, I mean, I know I've only been here for 13 years, but... I've never had anyone actually want to talk with me. One thing I would say would be take it an inch further was to go to the schools. And yes, not everyone's going to participate, but if you like broke us up and like talk to us in small groups, maybe you can get the full mass of everything. But I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend this, that they keep on doing more of this and spread it throughout the island. Nice. Do you think that ministers should come into the schools more often? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, they, could, they could do a seamless about this or something. School seamless, yes. I then asked Minister Darrell what he thought about the initiative of ministers going into the schools. If we can start with myself, the minister responsible for youth, um, and then kind of branch it out, um, I'm, I'm going to do some collaboration with the Minister of Education um, and a few other ministers. But at this time, um, it's probably probably not the best use of all ministers' time to, to kind of go into the schools. Um, but as we start getting the working group and other um, collaborations in place, you will see more and more of my colleagues um, kind of engaging with the youth. Also in attendance was OBA's newest and youngest candidate, Sophia Tassatore. She says the forum was a great first step in getting advice from the community. I commend the youth sports and recreation team as well as Minister Darrell for doing this and I hope to see more from them in the future. I also hope to see government resources being better spent and put towards our community groups that will especially help our at-risk youth. As for what's next in gathering youth engagement, Minister Darrell says the next focus is on overseas university students and creating a virtual forum that specifically targets their needs and questions in relation to the national youth policy. We recognize that you know, high school students um, and, and individuals that are currently based in Bermuda are going to have totally different um, viewpoints and, and ideas and policies that are more important to them with the individuals that are overseas and, and close to getting their degree. So that's the next step. As the first year of the implementation of the National Youth Policy draws to a close, we can expect the annual reports and a survey done over the period to be released by the end of February.